Hey everybody, welcome to the Throwback Thursday Warhammer Quest Battle Report. Today we're getting the band back together with the death of Bory Goldfist, my troll slayer, his brother Skeggy, is off for an adventure trying to find uh, basically what, what became of his, his oath-sworn brother who died fighting an enormous pile of monsters on our last adventure. Uh, he's joined by um, Bor or, uh, Bory's like, uh, compatriot, which is Wilhelm, the witch hunter, um, one of our older characters, Hawk the pit fighter, um, and then the OG Wolfric the barbarian, who's still battle level one, uh, to have this adventure. So let's roll up um, our mission, see what our, uh, our final like, like enemy boss room is going to be, and we'll get this underway. All right, so here's our adventuring crew. We've got Wolfric the Barbarian. Um, he's still battle level one with his Berserk, uh, and um, he's got a, uh, what is it, sword for d6 plus four damage, furs for plus one toughness, the lantern, and two bandages. That's really all he's got because he's only got one adventure. Then we have Hawk the Pit Fighter. He's a better fighter. Um, he is an escapee, uh, and <laughs> on, um, uh, his fist bite and, and pit flail, if you don't remember, he's got plus two strength with the, the pit flail. Uh, and then uh, the fist bike is plus two to his attack, but no death blow. So he gets plus two, uh, like attacks totally, gets I think three attacks with his um, his fist bike. And he has pit armor, which he can add plates and stuff to as he goes forward and buy more stuff. His debt is 3,900 right now, because he's got to pay off some of his debt every time he, he plays a game. He's got 11 wounds, he's got 800 gold in the bank, he's still just level one. Uh, but he's not a terrible fighter. Um, his, uh, his special skills kind of make up for his, um, his, like, his, his okay armor that he, he has to upgrade and he doesn't start with. Um, and then he's got the, uh, on an unexpected event, he gets to attack and move on a 5+. plus. So he has the, the combat reflexes special ability. So if he gets ambushed, roll a 5+, plus, um, and then he gets to, to do, like, a, an attack and then fight as well. And we have Wilhelm, who's about a level 2 Witch Hunter. Uh, he's improved his weapon skill to 4, which is pretty sweet, and his uh, toughness to 4, his initiative's 4. He's got 15 wounds, uh, 1 luck now as well. Uh, no faith right now though, 0 to 6 faith points. Uh, his, he's got the Plague, so he's minus 1 toughness this next game. He's got a pistol, a sword, his Gorget, which is adding to his toughness. His amulet of Null Magic on a 9+, plus, which is a special one, and he's got a bandage. Uh, he has one charge of healing. That's all the charges he's got right now from the, the, the Witch Hunter Shrine. He couldn't, couldn't get any because he didn't have gold last time. But then he killed a witch by throwing it off a tower and earned 1,100 gold. He had like 78 gold in the bank when he went to the, the place and then like just hunted down a witch with no items <laughs> and got a bunch of money for no reason. We got Bory Goldfist, my dwarf. Uh, he's about a level two. Uh, he's got his death song. So on a five plus, when he dies, he stays alive on one wound, which is pretty cool. And we start singing his death sign. He's got a five plus shrug to just like never die, basically. He just sings along and hums. Uh, he's up on skill five. His uh, attacks are going up to two, which is pretty cool with his cool great axe, uh, which has the 2d6 discard the lowest for damage. Uh, but if he rolls a double ones, he trips on his beard. <laughs> and he's got his chainmail, rope, a healing potion for d6 wounds, and some stone bread. 18 wounds. So the lowest wound model is actually Hawk with 11, which is pretty funny. But Wilhelm's minus one toughness right now because he's got the plague. Let's see what our objective room is. It's the Idol Chamber. Sweet. Let's roll in the adventure book and see what the story's going to be. We get a five. And that is. Return the staff. We just did return the staff. Well, again, again, not. I mean, it would be kind of cool actually to go back and return the staff because we did return the staff. We do return the staff to Electric Boogaloo. Where he goes to find Snorri's axe, maybe or something. Return the axe. Am I into it? Did the story build itself? It did. On the objective room monster table to determine the monsters. Um, in addition, take the next monster event card from the event deck and add them. It's very hazardous. So once the monsters are defeated, the warriors may place the staff in the hands of the axe, I guess, in the, the hands of the idol, completing their adventure. So maybe uh, maybe Wilhelm returned uh, Bori's axe to Skeggy, and Skeggy's trying to take it back to his corpse. That'd be cool. And then everybody gets one treasure card if they do it. I cut in the dungeon deck, and then throw in six cards in with this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll shuffle that up and build our dungeon with six more on top. What's our entry chamber? It's a passageway. Makes sense. We are lined up. We got Wolfric in front with Bori, or sorry, Skeggy rather. Bori, Bori's dead. Uh, and then Hawk and uh, Wilhelm in the back. So um, rolling for power. See if we get ambushed again. No, we don't. Two power. And uh, let's go right to the exploration phase because nobody's moving. It's another passageway. Phase. We're good. We just advances up to here, and we just roll another power phase because we haven't explored yet. And it's a six. Sweet. Good power phase. We had a wizard. Uh, and we're all going to move up, starting with the lantern. And then we'll do Skeggy. We'll do Wilhelm. And we'll do Hawk. Exploration, because there's no monster phase. The monster's lair. Convenient. 
All right, another power phase. Three, and we're good. Warrior phase again. We're gonna get ready to fight some monsters. One, two, we wanna do the biggest death blow ever. One, two, for the biggest death blow ever. And then one, two, three. So you could use your pit spike maybe. And one, two. It's our event. It's a trap. It's an e-card, because we're rolling on the event table. It'll be high, 52. Slaves, the warriors come across 2d6 slaves chained to the wall. They're in a particularly sorry state and look as if they have been haven't been fed for many days. They cry out to be freed. There's no reward to be gained for helping them, um, but compassion demands their freedom. It takes the warriors d6 turns to free the slave. For each turn spent, uh, an unexpected event rolls on a one or a two rather than just a one. Try not to free them, make a note of this on the record sheet, and then every time you wish to be trained, roll a d6 because you might be related to somebody. How many turns do we have to free these folks? Two, not too bad, all right. So three plus twice and we free the slaves. Number one, we're good. Number two, event phase. We've cut them free, great success. <laughs> so that power phase being done, we get to move and we're gonna go one, two, and then one, two, and then Hawk, and then the legendary Wilhelm. Actually, they'll, they'll, they'll stay on the corners here. Exploration, a torture chamber. As all those poor fools were locked up. <laughs> uh, warrior phase, we'll move in. And we'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And sorry, we should roll for power before we did that. And we didn't get ambushed. To there. Doing, I just, well, I guess we could just back to the wallet. <laughs> I've decided to just rush to the other side. The event is, it's a D3 Minotaurs. Of course it is. Three. Well, the wizard will be the uh, witch hunter and the elf will be the um, pit fighter. Which one doesn't get a Minotaur? Uh, it's gonna be the Witch Hunter. Everybody else is fighting a Minotaur. Sweet. Why is it always gotta be Minotaurs? <laughs> All right, well, let's fight them, I guess. Uh, we're starting with the Barbarian. Barbarian, don't freak out, buddy. Six. Nope, he just doesn't wound everyone. Good job. Good job, just immediately starts stabbing his friends. You're doing great. You're, you're leading the way. Oh, so that's Wilhelm. Uh, he's Jason, so he's just gonna have to stab with his sword, I guess. What do we got that's better? Nothing really. Weapons go four against weapons go four. Does he hit? Give me that sweet, sweet four plus. Nope. Go with, I guess, a uh, hawk. Now he could just stab one guy really good or use his flail. I think he's gonna use his flail. He's, I think, weapon skill five now? No, still weapon skill three. Good job, four plus. That's right, still battle level one. He hits. Pit flail is D6 plus five though. So do we hit and wound? Seven wounds, not bad. Okay. Their toughness, four. <laughs> so, three wounds. Twelve left on that Minotaur. Uh, what do we got, Skeggy? Hit him with your axe. I feel like Skeggy hits the unwounded one. Two attacks about a level two. He's gonna attack his own. So they both hit on weapon skill five, so threes. He's pretty good at this. Oh my god. It's terrible. Uh, and that's it. So the Barbarian freaked out and stabbed everybody. Skeggy missed. Uh, we did three wounds of the Pit Fighter. And Wilhelm missed. This is going great so far. First Minotaur fighting uh, into him right here. Totally forgot to make funerals. Um, the only person who did damage is Hawk. Does he actually get to do it on a four plus? No, he didn't He didn't do any damage because he failed his funeral. Uh, Skaggy would have been on a three. He was fine. Uh, on a four, which means that Wolfric it didn't matter. He still hit everybody. And then uh, we actually did hit with Wilhelm because he's level two. He did any damage, but that means Hawk missed. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, let's get Minotaur'd. So, this one into Wolfric, two attacks, weapon skill four. Uh, looks like two hits, because weapon skill three. Uh, first one, he's toughness four, so 2d6 wounds. Does nine wounds. Second one, does eight wounds. Uh, Wolfric is laying on the ground with zero wounds. Second one into Skeggy, hitting on fours. Two hits. Toughness five, so 2d6 minus one. First one, uh, does nine wounds. The second one, does no wound. Oh, sorry, so 10. So he's on a seven. Sweet. One into a uh, hawk. Both hits. Uh, hawk is toughness four, so just 2d6. Seven plus uh, seven is 14 wounds, so there we go. Down again. Well, it's a good thing we have bandages. <laughs> End of the turn, we'll use our one amulet charge to heal d6 wounds on, I don't know, let's say the pit fighter. We heal five, so he's back to five. Uh, and that's our only amulet that we have here. Guess we'll attempt to throw some bandages on uh, Wolfric there, on a four plus. Can we do it? Nope. Use a bandage from Wilhelm and then can Skeggy do it? Yes. Well, we're back at three. All right, well, we're standing at the end of the turn at least, so nobody's dead, which is nice. And let's see what happens in the power phase in the next turn. 
Three. Getting an ambush. That's sweet. All right, uh, Wolfric, you're first, buddy. Do you freak out again? Try not to. That'd be that'd be awesome. You don't. Your battle level and that made a six, which means you get an extra attack this turn, which is cool. So you'll attack the one that Wilhelm's attacking. Hit on a four with your sword. Sweet. Nothing. Well, that's over to Wilhelm. Uh, he'll stab with his sword in that same one and hits. And he strength three, so minus one. Five damage. It's down to ten. Sweet. That's Hawk. He'll go with the. Do I do three attacks? That's strength. He's strength four. No, he's strength. Mm, three. I can do three attacks. It's not a terrible idea. Let's just do three attacks instead. Do I get over my fear? I do. I'm fine. Did Wilhelm? Yes. Did uh, the Barbarian? Yes. All right. Well, Hawk, you're going to use your. Not flail. Ah, do I use flail? No, I use three attacks instead. Uh, hit on fours. All hit. Uh, so D6 minus one damage to each of these. Well, that's not bad. Two, four, plus four is eight. It's down to seven. I think the, the fifth spike was maybe the way to go. And then it's up to Skaggy. Can you dumpster this guy? Two D6. Yeah, two attacks. Hit on threes. He's rubbing skill five. One hit. Six dropped the lowest damage, and he's strength pretty good, because I'm pretty sure his axe is magic at this point. His axe is... Nope, just strength three. So just two six pick the highest. So two six minus one, but, but drop the highest. So it's gonna be five. As well. Alright, well, do we do we get killed again? That would that would totally suck because we're almost out of bandages. <laughs> First man's or attacking Will uh, Wolfric. Hits once, two d6. Uh that's gonna be five. He goes to that again. Oh Wolfric. Two into Skeggy. They both miss. Fuck. We missed. Alright, healing potion dumped into Wolfric from Skeggy. Can he do it? Yes. D6 back. Five. Power phase. Can he finish off these Minotaurs? We got a good power phase. Frick, do you berserk? You do. Two attacks in this guy. Hit on fours. Six minus one damage. Does four more. Down to six. It's Wilhelm. One attack. Hit on a four as well. Stabs. We got him. And then D6 minus one. It's only strength three. Two more, down to four. All right, Hawk, it worked out last time with the punching fist. Do it again. It's gonna be fours. Yeah. 2d6 minus one on each of these, but if I get a nine, basically I kill him. Hard nine. Yeah, there we go. Killed him. It's all you, Skaggy. Two attacks. Hitting on threes. Both hit. All right, it's two dice. Pick the highest for each of these for damage. Uh, that's going to be, looks like a five and a four is nine. Oh, this guy's strength four. He's done four additional damage. You've actually killed him, Wolfric. Uh, but he's down to one. Anyone poach his kill. Uh, <laughs> he gets to attack though, it's on Skeggy. Fours. Got him once. Six minus one. Uh, so that's gonna be four damage, he's down to three. New power turn. Not gonna die at least. Wolfric's just gonna hum a bandage on himself, up to eight, because he doesn't want to die. Well, I was gonna take a shot with his pistol, why not? Four plus. Let's see if we can hit this Minotaur. Bang. Yes. Uh, plus a bunch. Dead. Kills him. So, I guess Hawk will... What's he got? Oh, yes, his health plus potion. Get six back and go to 11. He's just gonna eat his one piece of stone bread. And heal six and go up to nine. Let's see what kind of treasure we got out of that. 21. A sword of stone. While your warrior uses, he gets plus two toughness. That's pretty cool. So for 500 gold, I get plus two toughness. That would make me toughness six. For the Barbarian, that's pretty cool actually. Leader, so he gets it automatically. Time to six, that was pretty great. <laughs> All right, well, we've successfully completed the torture chamber and almost died in the process several times. Uh, so let's see what's happening in the next event. Well, sorry, now we explore actually. This room is a corridor, so a passageway. Now let's keep on moving. Uh, Wolfric's gonna go and go one, two, three, four. Then we'll go with Wilhelm, one, two, three, four. Four. E, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Technically he should have gone first, actually. We should have put him there. We got one, two, three, four. Power phase, the dread power dice. We're good. We got the dungeon cell. Alright, we'll start with Wolfric. He's gonna go one. Sorry, one would be to here. Two, three. I'm gonna do Skeggy. One, two, three. Three, four. It's T six now, so I'm not super worried about it. <laughs> Wilhelm, one, two, three, 
And one, two, three, four. Wrong. Avengers, it's 2d6 Skaven. Oh, it's getting stabby in here. Next time we got, there we go, five. Lucky hero gets two of these lovely monsters. It's the elf, which is Hawk. All right, well, it's gonna be the man, the legend, this Wolfer going first, and he's gonna make a stab. First, barbarian time. Not gonna freak out right now. So he'll start with the one here and work his way left. So into that one on a three, misses. Uh, we'll do, I think it's Wilhelm next, starting here. And he misses as well. Uh, then I guess we do the flail on old Hawk. He'll start here and try and wrap around. So three plus, hits. Uh, and then it's, oh geez, their toughness three, so plus two, they just die. So dead, next one, misses. I do is keep rolling threes, buddy. Let's get, get it done, attacking this one. <laughs> oh my God, just completely misses. We're doing great today. The one on Skaggy, misses. Uh, the one on Hawk, hits. Uh, he's toughness four, so minus one. <laughs> That's five, it's down to six. Everybody's getting stabbed. Um, the other one on Hawk, misses. And the one on Wolfric, misses. Oh, phase. Nothing untoward happens. Wolfric leads the way, does he freak out barbarian style? No. Uh, first attack on him, three plus. Nope. Uh, then it's Hawk doing his flail starting here, I guess. Three plus. Hits, just pops him into the next one. Hits and just pops him, because the least damage he can do is well. Ooh, uh, we got Skeggy. I'm oh, sorry, actually it wouldn't be Skeggy next, it would be um, Wilhelm. He'll move and make a stab on a three. Misses, and now Skeggy. Uh, hit once, because I won't reroll my roll. But two six pick the highest, so just kills him. And Wolfric, I'm oh, sorry, just one attack. One die on a four, no power. That's <laughs> three. Wolfric, can you kill him by freaking out? Uh, plus one, plus battle level is six. Fear, just plus one. Uh, this is five, he doesn't actually do it. Just one attack, one three. Hits. Uh, plus one, so that's three wounds, that kills him. 120 gold for Hawk, and then 40 each for Skeggy and Wolfric. And let's see what our cool item is. Uh, green will be high. Double one. Seeking. Anyone can use it. This ring allows your warriors to attempt to avoid a trap. It's just activated on D6, one, two, or three, it fails on a four plus. It's magically disarmed. Quite as cool as the uh, st uh, sort of stone, but still pretty cool. Uh, power phase for the new turn. Expected event. D6 goblin spearmen, D6 goblin archers. And spearmen and archers. Not terrible. We got the spearmen. It's the barbarian. Surprise! <laughs> and then uh, the archers. Uh, who doesn't get an archer? Everyone else will get an archer. Uh, so let's just go like this. As far as possible, uh, so with line of sight. So one, two, three. Can see him, can see him, can see him. Be over here, away from him. Right now, uh, so that's gonna be a spear attack into the barbarian, hits. Uh, he's strength three, minus three damage. Does two, so I'm out of Wolfric. Wolfric's down to six. Bow shot Skeggy on a four, nope. Uh, on Hawk, nope. On Wilhelm, nope. Well, uh, yeah, time to time to make the murders. Barbarian, do you freak out? <laughs> no. Uh, and then do you kill? Hits. Explodes. Gets to go. Hmm. Walk over here. Hit with flail. Hits. Just pops him. The next one. Hits and pops him too. And then it's Wilhelm. He'll take a step. One. Stab with his sword. Hit. And kill him. Okay, you'll just walk over here. And choose some stone bread. Because why not? D6. Gets two back. All right, well, uh, we get to resolve that now. So two goblins are worth 20 each, so 40 more for Hawk, and 20 each for um, Skeggy and uh, Wolfric. A cool item, this is going to either um, Wilhelm or Hawk. Green is high. 15. Sword of Ensorcelled Iron, plus one to hit. I'll take that for Wilhelm. New power phase. We're good. Wolfric's gonna go one, two. Uh, we'll go over here with Wilhelm, and then one, two, three, four with Hawk. And it's the Well of Doom! Stench of Decay hangs heavy in the air. Everything's gone wrong. Good, going with Wolfric. One, two, three, four. We'll go with uh, Hawk. So actually it's uh, Wilhelm next. No, yeah. One, two, three, four. Uh, Skeggy Hawk. One, two, three, four. And Skeggy. One, two, three, I think he just stands. See what our event is. 
D6 plus one Chaos Warriors. Uh-oh. It's a Well of Doom. And this is, of course, my, my, my homemade card of terribleness. Three. Three. Not terrible. Who isn't fighting a Chaos Warrior? Or being attacked by one, at least. The Barbarian. So everyone else. Skeggy, you get one. Wilhelm, you get one. Hockey, you get one. All right. Do you freak out? Barbarian? Nope. You one attack with your sword, hitting on a four. It's probably still six. You do. Uh, Thomas four, so D6 minus one. It's gonna be three. It's 12 wounds down to nine. That's Wilhelm. You do hate chaos, Wilhelm. Four, but it goes to a three because of your plus. You hit. D6 minus one damage. Do one. Down to eight. Hawk's turn. He's gonna go with the fist stabs because he's good at those. Fist stabs. Uh, punch for story on fours. Three hits. Get him right in the ribs, D6 minus one, because they're only strength three. And we shank him. Yeah, yeah there we go. Uh, that's gonna be 12, sorry, uh, 12 minus one, that's five, 10, uh, 13. Exactly, you have to kill him. Plus one to kill him. Right, you fellas aren't doing terrible. Come on, Bori, get your game face on. Now you're hitting him on fours though, because you're up to skill five, he's up to skill six. Fours! Got him once, and then it's 2D6. Pick the highest. So that's gonna be at minus one, three damage. Nine left on this little fella. And they get to swing. So the one fighting Bori. One hit, uh, I thought it was five though, so minus one to this. One damage. So Bori's gonna go down to, sorry, Skaggy's gonna go down to 10. And two into Wilhelm on threes. One hit, uh, strength four, so just D6. One damage. Down to 13. They are incredibly durable, but not that scary when it comes to damage. Just only one damage dice. And again! Okay, no bad power phase, yay. All right, uh, do we freak out? Yeah, so two attacks from Wolfric into this guy. Hitting on fours. Both hit, just 2d6 damage. Four, down to four. Wilhelm on a three, because it's plus one to hit. And he's d6 minus one damage. Can you seal the deal? Down to one. Next turn, uh, he's gonna take a step and then go with his stabby fist again. Fours, there we go. And this guy's living it up. See how well he does. Uh, so D6 minus one on each of these, he's only strength three. Uh, one, five, eight. He's got one left. And does Skeggy poach his kill after this? On threes, get him Skeggy. Fours actually, sorry, hits him once. Let's roll two or better on one of these dice. Don't roll snake eyes. He doesn't, kills him. Fighting back against Wilhelm. Does he get hit? Twice, ugh, 2d6 damage. Does he get? Ah, uh, that's not too bad. Five, down to eight. Power phase, four, not too bad. Over to you go Berserk. Berserker Barrage, no. One attack on a four. Hits him, just d6. Kills him, got his kill. Good job, Wolfric. Everybody but Wilhelm gets 240 gold out of that, and then let's see what our event is, or our uh, magic item is. This one's gonna go to uh, you got plus one to hit, you got the armor or the sword of stone, you got the ring of seeking, it's gonna go to Hawk. 34. Therian's bow, uh, plus one to hit bow for a barbarian or an elf, so the barbarian can have it. I guess it goes to the pit fighter though, because he can have one. And really that's just gonna be 200 gold, because he's, he don't shoot good. Let's, uh, let's see what our next room is. T-Junction, dealing from the bottom, we are split up. Uh, so let's see what our power phase says, just a two. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. We go one, sorry, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then Skeggy will go one, two, three, four. Uh, we're gonna use our last bandage on Wilhelm, take us back to 11 wounds. We're gonna take our last slug from the heal it potion on Hawk, oh geez, and heal two. Let's back up to eight. We'll use his own last bandage to go to nine. And Skeggy's gonna chew a stone bread to get three back and go to 13. Exploration, what do we got? It's a passageway. And power phase. We're not ambushed. So starting with Wolfric. One, two, three, four. Wilhelm, one, two, three, four. Skeggy, sorry, uh, actually Hawk, one, two, three, four. And then Skeggy, one, two, three, four. Uh, we could eat one more stone bread on Skeggy. And he's out. Well, six. So he goes to full. We just got one bandage left, so we'll go to 12. And I think that's it, because our heal potion's out. So we're into, I guess, our, our last, hopefully, exploration. Let's see where we're going. Six, no, uh, no power problems. We're gonna go one, two. We're gonna go, it's you next, so one, two, three. 
Then it's Hawk, one, two, three, four. And you have to stand in the doorway, actually, because you're gonna go first, and that's Skaggy, one, two, three. Open, I'm hoping this is it, because I'm out of doorways. There it is, the Idol Chamber, fantastic. Lucky with the split. <laughs> Power phase, nothing bad happens. Ugh, how do we want to fight in here? We're gonna fight two groups of monsters, so we're gonna go one, two, three, I think, yeah, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, three, yeah. Hawk's gonna go one, three, four, and then Skaggy's gonna go one, two, three, four, like that. We're just gonna try and get as much death blow as possible. Adventure book boss monsters. Special boss stuff is two, which is a minotaur, six orcs, and six orc archers. This must be the boss minotaur. <laughs> All right, so let's see who gets a minotaur. The dwarf, fantastic. Uh, this, this is appropriate because you are here for your boss brother. Uh, we'll put you here. Uh, then six orcs, so who gets two? Two orcs go to uh, the Barbarian and the Pit Fighter. Two bonus archers go to the Barbarian and the Witch Hunter. Just sit as far back as possible. And then we flip one extra card, because that's our bonus. It's 2d6 giant rats! Yikes! <laughs> and it's six. Who gets two giant rats? The Dwarf and the Witch Hunter. That's quite the adventure room right there. And we get to go first, starting with the Barbarian. Oh, you started the adventure by freaking out? Do you end the adventure by freaking out? No. Uh, so you're going to try and cleave, I guess. Starting with the giant rat, you might as well. And you'll hit on a three. And you hit, it just explodes because it has one wound. And death is two. And then you death blow into the orc, hitting on a three. Four, sorry, actually, and you still hit. Um, and then you strength four, so three plus to kill it. Two wounds left. Uh, then it's going to be the Witch Hunter. He might as well stab Wounded Guy on a two plus. Hits it. Uh, D6 minus one. Just kills him. Can't death blow though because there's nobody adjacent. Two Hawk, do we flail? We always flail. Three plus into the rat. We hit. We do. And then he just pops. Throw to that next orc. A three plus. We got him. Two damage plus strength five. That'll kill him too. Throw to the next orc. On a three plus. Got him. Kill him plus two. He sure does. Last orc in the death blow. Hitting on a three. Got him. One to this roll. Can he kill him? Got him. And that's the end of the death blow chain. So Skeggy could try and kill a bunch of rats. He kill an orc, kill rat, and then hit the Minotaur. I feel like we do that first. I feel like we go for the kills and then hit the Minotaur with like a secondary attack. Because he had two attacks against the orc. He two attacks against the rat and almost guaranteed kill it because the orcs way less dangerous actually <laughs> the rats believe it or not yeah yeah we hit the rat no yeah because we can't kill it in one hit hit the rat hit it twice he's for the highest oh my god we would have done so much damage to that minotaur we would have done uh five uh, just five actually but in this case it's plus two so he just kills him one of the minotaur on a three got him two he's pick the highest and it's four damage down to 11. I mean, still, like, not bad, and it keeps him from attacking. Well, that's what the heroes can do. It wasn't bad, and now the orcs go. Orc against Wilhelm on a four. Hits, uh, d6 minus one, so four damage. Wilhelm goes down to seven. Uh, orc against Wolfric, misses. Uh, this rat into Skeggy goes one and attacks, misses. Uh, these rats move and go one and stop, and one and stop and try and attack, I guess, and a hawk miss. So do they die? Three plus? No, three plus? Yes, this one suicides itself. Move afterwards then. Does it hit? No. Does it suicide itself? No. It's lots and lots of bow shots. So it's two into Wolfric, two into um, Skeggy, I think, and then one into everybody else. So two into Wolfric. Uh, sorry, not Wolfric, actually, uh, Wilhelm. Uh, one hit, minus one. Well, oh, four more, and a three. Two into Skeggy. Both hit, minus two, nothing, and three damage. So he'll go down to, he's fully healed, so he'll go to 14, he'll go to 15. And one into Wolfric, which hits, and does minus three, so one damage. So he's down to 11. And then one into Hawk, which hits, uh, and does one damage, down to seven. 
Minotaur attack Skeggy, two attacks on fours. One hit, 2d6 minus one. Uh, seven damage, it goes down to eight left. All right, well we survived, new turn. Nothing bad happens. Uh, starting with Wolfric. Freak out, now he's got a kill. Nope. Stab an orc. Yes. Kills it. At d6 minus one, four plus will do it. Uh, then it's gonna be into... I get, and death blows into the Minotaur, yeah. Hits. Minus one. Five. <gasps> Nicely done. Uh, 11 goes down to six. Uh, now we go with the legendary Wilhelm on a two plus against that orc. Hits. Minus one. Two damage. He's got one left. Hawk. He'll use his flail again. That rat. Hits it. It explodes. Um, death blow into the orc. And hits it and explodes too. Uh, so with Wilhelm done and Hawk done, it looks like we're on to the Skeggy. <sighs> Do we kill the Minotaur? I think we kill the Minotaur. Two attacks on threes. Hit him. Got him twice. First one does five. Second one does five. Just kills him. Good job. Can't really get a death blow off that, so the rat will attack me because I didn't kill him in one hit. He's too big. That hits me. Uh, it does 2d6 minus, a, not enough. It's minus three. It's strength two, I think. Maybe strength one. Exactly enough to do zero damage. <laughs> Perfect. Archers now taking some shots, starting with two into Wilhelm. Get it? Nothing hits. Two shots into Skeggy. Both miss. One into the Barbarian, which hits at minus three. So three damage, because he's got the Sword of Plus Two Toughness. Uh, so three damage, takes him to eight. Last one into Hawk. Misses. Phase. We're good. Go get him, Wolfric. So one, two, three. Give him the stabs. Uh, so we'll start with this orc here. Does he freak out? Uh, plus one, so no. I have a rat, actually. Which means he's plus two. He actually does freak out. So three's in that first one. One hit. Kills him. Death blow. The next one. Hits him. Kills him too. Death blow to this last one. Hits. Kills him too. Uh, then it's Wilhelm. Go free up the dwarf, buddy. You're gonna go one. Mm, one, two, three, four. Yeah. To there. And give him a poke with your sword on plus one. So twos. And he just dies from being hit. Barbarian can go then uh, and head up one, two, three, four. And I guess he's just bow on a five plus into that guy. Yeah, minus one. Oh my God, Bow Valtharian, amazing. You're a, you're a tour de force of murder. Um, and it's Skeggy, one, two, three, four. Give him the ax. Three's on the left one. Hits him twice. First one, kills him. And then death blow to the next guy on a three. Hits and kills him. Good job, Skeggy. Do it with that. Skeggy lays the Troll Slayer's axe in his skeletal dead grip. Uh, and we've returned the, the Troll Slayer's axe to his corpse and successfully completed our mission. So experience wise, uh, that's an extra 240 for um, Wolfric, 570 for Skeggy, another 295 for Hawk, and uh, 95 for Wilhelm. Looking good. We had three health left on Wilhelm, seven on Hawk. Eight on Skeggy and eight on Wolfric at the end of all that, and we blew through every healing item we had. Fun part though, everybody gets to roll on the treasure room objective table. Now you gotta think there's a lot of minotaurs and ogre bodies in here, and they must have been carrying something good. So let's start with Skeggy, who landed the killing blow. Uh, green is high. 54. He finds. Oh, jeez. 54 is hard to do with your left hand here, holding a book. The Blade of Leaping Bronze. Sort of plus two attacks. All right, Wolfric, what did you find for your troubles? 52. Axe of Sling. This axe automatically hits. The wielder does not have to make a hit roll. Uh, in addition, instead of normal damage, uh, it's D6. On a one, it does uh, D6 plus strength wounds. On a two, it does two D6 plus strength wounds, and so on. Oh my god. Uh, for one, Use for one turn per adventure. It does D6 times D6 plus your strength wounds. That's a pretty good boss killer. Uh, what did you get, Hawk? 35. The Frost Blade. When wielding the Frost Blade, you can only make one attack per turn. If your warrior makes a successful attack with the Frost Blade that causes a wound uh, after taking toughness into it, the target's just slain. So once per adventure, if you do a wound, you kill him. It just causes a death blow. It can cause a death blow. Oh my god. Good candy to have for, for... I got a couple of like big boss slayers now. And then Wilhelm. 31. 
And that would be the Wand of Diabolum, minus one to spell casting. So you got 500 gold, is what you got. Which, you don't mess with that stuff. Um, sweet. Well, we've successfully completed our adventure. Let's go back to town. We're heading to a town, so it's four weeks worth of journeying. Let's see what our event rolls are. The first one is going to be a 13, which is a chapel. Uh, we can spend 20 gold to pray, or we can just keep moving on. Uh, I can plus one to my starting wounds, or just not be listened to. It's permanent if I get a four plus. Yeah, everybody will try. So the dwarf, four plus. Nope. The barbarian, yep, he gets plus one to his initial wounds. The um, pit fighter, yep. And the uh, witch hunter, no. So the pit fighter and the barbarian both gain an extra wound from praying to Krom. Number two, 54. We get to uh, Rockfall. Uh, they can still complete their journey without losing any time, but employ and clear paths is D6 times 20 gold. It's Wilhelm 60, that cost 40 for Hawk, that cost um, 80 for um, Wolfric, and then it costs a grand total of just 20 for the Dwarf Skaggy. Roll 22. Not an eventful week, that's an eventful week. Fourth roll, 54. That's another rock falls. Wolfric 40 and Skeggy 40. Um, then cost a grand total of 20 for uh, Wilhelm this time. And another 40, or sorry, uh, 20 for Hawk. Wilhelm uh, and Skeggy are both not leveling this time because they're both battle level two, but I guess that both Hawk and Wolfric will. So Hawk's gonna spend 2,000 gold to train to be a pugilist. At first he's gotta go to a store and buy some stuff. He's gonna, he's got 99 gold basically to spend cause he's gonna sell Thurian's bow for 200. He's just gonna visit the fighting school and do some, do some fighting. Uh, he'll put, I guess, 20 on his debts, taking him down to uh, 39, 11. 70 after he spends something at the fighting school. Six plus to find it first though. We're good. Sell his bow for 200, and that'll put him at uh, two, sorry, 2,079 gold. And then he's gonna buy another heal it potion, but he has to roll an eight plus to do it first. Plus, we found our heal it potion, which costs us 50. There's D6 available, we only have the cash for one. And that puts us at 29 gold in the bank after we sell Therian's bow. So when you become a pugilist, you gain eight training points with which to spend to increase your stats. It's cool thing about the pit, the pit fighter, he's just awesome at like tailoring. Um, yeah, so let's see, let's see how this goes. We've got eight to spend. It costs this many points to increase things. The important one's attacks. Ah. I feel like attacks, weapon skill, and then we could still put up our, we have two left. Hmm. Save them up. And you only increase characteristic once. So I feel like the way to go here, I mean, we can up his intelligence, I guess, uh, which is also his initiative. Um, yeah, we can make him initiative four, like intelligence four, uh, weapon skill four, and give him two attacks. And that, that feels like the way to do it. Wound out of the, those prayers, so I'm okay with that. I mean, it's pretty dangerous for our next game. Still only 12 wounds, but with uh, two base attacks now, sorry, two base attacks with our, our flail, we're, we're gonna have five or four attacks with the, the punching spikes. Like level two, we up our damage, or level three, up our weapon skill and damage dice. And then we could have two dice damage with two attacks or four attacks the punching spike and weapon skill five. That'd be pretty sweet. Box weak sorted. Uh, then we're gonna go on to the next person who can level, which is Wolfric. So the barbarian at level two is going to gain a toughness, uh, which will make him toughness seven. He's gonna get two, a d6 wounds, um, and then a luck point, and a skill. Six wounds, rerolling ones. So he's gonna get three more, so we got a 18. Skill he learns, nine. Ooh, that's gonna be cool, I hope. Six cents. After the exploration phase, when a new floor section has been revealed, the barbarian uses six cents to see what lies inside. If the new floor section is a room, he rolls a die. On a one to four, nothing happens. On a five, six, he can see the event card and see what's in the room. Oh, and then it's time to go charge up our amulets. Uh, and that means that Wilhelm's gonna go check out the temple, I think. I had six faith counters. I completely forgot to use last game to give myself pluses to hit. Um, <laughs> so I don't, I don't have to worry about faith right now because I have six faith, but I could use my six faith right now to modify any of these rolls. Temple. Do we get a seven? We do, so we find it. Let's, uh, I guess, charge the amulet of parody. Uh, so it's gonna cost, I'm, I'll do I'll do all the costs at the end, just see how, what I get actually. I get a, oh, that was such a six. I get a four, uh, an audible hum, it's recharged. See how many charges it has. Three, a lot of money, so this should, this should be okay. The next one is gonna be the amulet of healing. This is an important one, what happens? Four, 
Uh, so it's charged with D6 charges. Two. The amulet of holy fire is fully charged at six power. Gain another amulet. I, I have six amulets. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Uh, the amulet of strength is charged with three. What kind of money I've spent so far? I've spent this times 50. So 12 times 50, 600 gold. Two of the charge. The next one is dead. So I've lost my amulet of fury. And then Abakadam is at six. Gain an amulet of fury automatically. With four, sweet. 56 more gold. Ah, there we go. So that's not bad. Another 100, so 700 total. 1473 left in the bank. Let's see if we get some in between bottle level help. We do. It's me 400, so I'm at 1073 now. But what do I get? It's a training. All right, let's see what it's got. It's an artifact and symbol. Three. Ooh, the Book of Hockenfels. Hockenfels is a witch hunter of great repute, said to be burned a thousand proven witches and banished a hundred demons. Upon a time, he wrote a great book. Uh, I can read it instead of uh, doing things in the settlement. But reading and reaffirm my faith. Every day I spend reading the book, I make a successful uh, willpower test. If uh, I roll an eight or more, D6 plus my willpower, uh, I gain the following benefit. Plus one of my starting faith or automatically pass a fear test. Plus one starting faith sounds amazing. I've got six days to spend, uh, and I'm just going to do that with paying living expenses. So every five plus, I get plus one to my starting faith. Plus one starting faith. Sweet. Living expenses, that puts him at 1,059. And it's just Skaggy. He wants to buy a bunch of stone bread and go off and nap. Grocery shopping guy today, Skaggy. You're going to go buy all the bandages and stuff that we need later. <laughs> so let's start off by going to the dwarf quarter. Do we? We do. You mentioned uh, you got 1059 left because you uh, spent your 14 on living expenses for being around. So what do we got here in the dwarf quarter? We some stone bread. It's a two plus stock roll. So we know we've got some. There are D6 loaves available. Five? I'll buy all five for 150. Let's go see the runesmith. Uh, it costs me D6 plus two gold. It costs me 600 gold. And what does he do? Something good. Yeah, the rune restoration. Well, he wields his weapon. I get a wound back per turn. Sweet. I can't die. Oh, sorry. It works. Um, doesn't work if I'm at zero wounds. What happens to Skeggy on this day? Se 16. Steam bath. <gasps> Plus one starting wounds. A good sweat. You Skeggy going with the self care. And then on day two, we're going to the general store to buy some stuff. Just bandages. Are they available? Uh, they are. Sorry. How many are available? D6. Two. And they cost 50 each. Uh, so 100. Find some provisions. Uh, do we find them? We do. How many? Five. Uh, at 50 each, we'll buy, I guess, three and just go to zero. So three provisions and two bandages. Spread those around amongst the, the heroes. And then what do we got for our event for today? Uh, 46. Only buying two provisions because we have to spend money on our living expenses. So we have to save 50 gold. Find a runaway. Uh-oh. Walking down Main Street, you hear a disturbance around the corner and a runaway bull charges. What happens? I can hide down the alley or I can stop the bull. Stop the bull. I'm a dwarf. Damn it, four plus. A single sword throw stops the bull down in its tracks and it twitches. Uh, the bull's range of horizon, you release him with 150 gold and his prize slot. If you want it, stop, not slaughter. Use our last 50 gold and go to zero. Yes, we have to borrow some money for our living expenses now. We have to borrow 14 crowns off of, I guess, Hawk, who's almost dirt poor. Uh, and what happens in our last couple days? We 23. Uh, I get fooled. Discard any one purchase I made? It's worth nothing. Ugh, I guess we get rid of a uh, piece of stone bread. And then 53. Counterfeit. Uh, you try to buy some equipment and it becomes counterfeit. You discover that T6 times 10 gold is indeed worthless. Oh no. We've lost our zero gold. <laughs> 34. So we lost the stone bread. We go to riotous living. We overspent on 50 gold. We don't have any gold, so we don't overspend on anything. And then 53. Another counterfeit. Oh my god, we lose our D6 times 50 gold that we didn't have. And then 13. Uneventful day. And then our last day. 65. Uneventful day. Negative, like, Jesus. 50. And then 2D6. Times 10, 150 gold right now, 164 gold. We're gonna have to borrow off somebody who don't have it. Uh, so I guess Wilhelm can pay for it? Uh, uh, uh. Wilhelm, what do you got? You got some money. Hey, let's, you're just reading a book. Can I borrow 164 gold? Sure you can, dwarf. Uh, I go to 164 gold. So that's minus five. So yeah, bad. 1059 minus 164. 
is 8.95. That's it. Everybody's bottle level two, and the party's ready for their next adventure. So we got the end of the adventure. Everyone at bottle level two now. We'll see you in two weeks for more Warhammer Quest. Till then, I'm Ash. Have a I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.